Next, we will introduce the two-sided infinite limits. As a part of the introduction, we will discuss the definitions, interpretations, and a few examples. We associate the following behavior near vertical asymptote x equals a with the following limit statement called a two-sided infinite limit. We say f approaches to positive infinity as x approaches to a from both sides. Frequently, we omit the plus-minus notation and simply say f approaches to positive infinity as x approaches to a. We associate the following behavior near vertical asymptote x equals a with the following limit statement, called a two-sided infinite limit. We say f approaches to negative infinity as x approaches to a from both sides. Frequently, we omit the plus-minus notation and simply say f approaches to negative infinity as x approaches to a. Now, if for whatever reason the left and the right-sided limits do not match or function doesn't exist on either side, then we say that the two-sided limit doesn't exist and simply write TNE. So, to interpret the two-sided infinite limits, we would first read it as f approaches to positive or negative infinity as x approaches to a from both sides. Next, we would mark the asymptote x equals a on the coordinate plane, and then draw the behavior according to the statement. For instance, this is what one would imagine when seeing the following limit statement. It shows that f approaches to negative infinity as x approaches to 2 from both sides. Similarly, this is what one would imagine when seeing the following limit statement. It shows that f approaches to positive infinity as x approaches to negative 1 from both sides. Let's do an example. Consider a function defined by the following graph. And let's find the following limits. In other words, let's describe the behavior of the graph around its vertical asymptotes. To find the limit, we need to determine whether the function goes up or down on both sides of the asymptote at x equals negative 7. It is easy to see that the function approaches negative infinity on both sides. In other words, f approaches to negative infinity as x approaches to negative 7 from both sides. Therefore, the answer is negative infinity. To find the next limit, we need to determine whether the function goes up or down on both sides of the asymptote at x equals negative 3. It is easy to see that the function approaches positive infinity on both sides. In other words, f approaches to positive infinity as x approaches to negative 3 from both sides. Therefore, the answer is plus infinity. To find the next limit, we need to determine whether the function goes up or down from both sides of the asymptote x equals 0. It is easy to see that the function approaches positive infinity on both sides. In other words, f approaches to positive infinity as x approaches to 0 from both sides. Therefore, the answer is positive infinity. Finally, to find the last limit, we need to determine whether the function goes up or down from both sides of the asymptote x equals 6. It is easy to see that the function approaches negative infinity from the left and positive infinity from the right. Since the two one-sided limits are not matching, we say that the two-sided limit doesn't exist. We discussed the definitions of two-sided infinite limits using the graphing approach.